Brave, fierce and fiery, yet strangely bubbly and cheery, Hikaru Shido is arguably the strongest of the three Magic Knights from Magic Knight Ray Earth. Back in 1993, Sailor Moon led the way in anime that featured transforming schoolgirls, and Magic Knight Ray Earth introduced a unique and more mature twist to the genre. I for one certainly enjoyed the anime and the manga, and when Figma announced that this figure would be released, I couldn't wait to throw my money at them once again for the sake of nostalgia. But did I throw my money blindly? Once again, we are here to find out if this figure is the pillar see what I did there, of light that you need in your collection, as we review Figma's Magic Knight Ray Earth, Hikaru Shido. Hello everyone, and thank you for joining us once again on the D-Star Zero One channel. I'm your host, Dexter Raphulis, and today we're going down Nostalgia Road once again, and we're taking a look at one of my favorite characters from Magic Knight Ray Earth, Hikaru Shido. In short, when she was announced, I knew I just had to have her in my collection. So today, we're here to review this figure to see if it's worth your money. Upon opening, one will notice right away that this figure is well done with a sculpt that will just take your breath away. And that is due to the awesome paint detail. The paint application on her is spot on and looks just like the anime, if not better. And that is due to her accurately sculpted white armor, crimson red shirt, and faded red hair. Looking at her clothes, you can see that it has an action-like feel and brings out Hikaru's character by featuring a wind-ruffled skirt and wrinkles on her boots. These small details are a welcome addition and I'm glad they did this instead of a plain straight skirt and plain boots as this doesn't represent her. Her armor shows incredible paint and detail with perfectly painted white and gold throughout, as you can see right here. Lastly, her hair is a faded crimson red, and while it seems like the anime, her hair is the same color as her shirt, I really dig what they did with this figure with the faded red as it gives a more distinct look and it adds to her complexity. Overall, I love what they did with the sculpt of this figure by giving Hikaru a very action-esque feel and look, and it's very good. So here we are with Hikaru Shido from Magic Knight Ray Earth, and we're going to talk about articulation and scale. So let's see how tall she stands. She is, I would have to say, a little bit over four and a half inches. Now she's really short, but that's because in the anime she is really short. <laughs> Everyone in the anime always has to, has to comment on how short she is, and she's just, well, short. So they did that pretty accurately in my opinion. So let's compare her to one of my personal favorite figures here. I really love Super Sailor Moon, and as you can see, she towers over Hikaru. And uh, well, that just makes sense because that's just how she is. So let's go over articulation. We have a articulation right here. This. We have an articulation right here, which goes up and down. We have your standard Figma ball joint right there. Although I wouldn't really call it a ball joint. I don't. I kind of want to call it just a roller joint. Yeah, I think that's just. I think that's really what it's called. But there is a ball joint here on her upper leg, and we have a rotating um, midsection right here. We have the wrist, which is a peg. Uh, you can pull it out and then you can switch with the other hands. Really standard Figma stuff here. We have the roller elbow right here, ball joint here for her elbow, um, for her shoulder. Now, I have to tell you that this armor piece actually kind of bothers, it's, it's a little bit bothersome here. That's because it's so thick and it's a little bit bigger than, than it should be, in my opinion. And it kind of hinders her articulation right there. As you can see with this arm, you can move it uh, up like that. This one is having a little bit of trouble because of that uh, shoulder armor piece. Not too much of a problem. I mean, you're probably going to pose her with the sword on this hand anyway. So it's not really a big deal. And of course, we have a um, one articulation here on the neck, which you can just pull off and you can uh, replace the faces that way, or you can just replace the faces. I just like to do it when the, when the head's on there. 
you can just pull off the front hair and then this face pops off and you can replace the hair or uh, the faces that way. Uh, also, she has an articulation on her pigtail. This is kind of like a ball joint and you can move it in all sorts of ways. Really like that so you can get those action-esque poses with this figure. So there you have it. She's really articulated. I really love what they did with her on this one. Um, everything's pretty great here. So there you have it. Articulation and scale for her Karo Shinu from Magic Knight Ray Earth. Four extra hands, cat ears hair piece, two extra faces, stand, and a scudo sword is what you get with this figure. While it doesn't seem like much, I believe these accessories is all she needs. I just wish she came with Makona, but I guess Makona will come out with one of the other knights. Starting with her faces, you get a hard action face, a happy face, and a very happy face with this figure. While all these faces are excellent in terms of detail, I really wish she came with a neutral face like most Figma figures come with. All of these faces are action oriented and I was hoping for the face that looks like she just walked right out of a flame. All serious and stuff. But unfortunately, we don't get that. Her cat ears are a welcome addition and add a lot to the character and can be interchanged with all the faces as you can see here. Last, but definitely not least, her sword is amazing looking with excellent details and shimmery paint throughout. Overall, I like everything about this figure and the accessories that come with her, and you will not be disappointed. So let's break down this figure. When it comes to Figmas, I expect amazing quality and detail, and Figma once again delivers. So let's start with the negatives, which honestly is not really that much. She has no neutral face. All my figures that I have from Figma or Figure Arts usually come with a neutral face for that serious pose, and sadly this figure doesn't have it. Also, I wish she came with a Mokana, as in the anime she's usually paired up with Mokana, so it makes sense that she would come with one, but she doesn't. Besides that, this figure is amazing out of the box, and oh man, it just looks really good. I love the detail and everything. So I just gotta say, let's give her a rating. I give her a 9 out of 10 B star. Thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to enter my Road to 1000 Subs giveaway, and I'll see you guys next time. Hey you! Thanks for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Where? Right here, not there, right here. You. And thanks for watching. So, rate, comment, and subscribe. Right here, right there, right here. Yeah.